So I know you might be thinking that my issues with this game are strictly death related, but oh god no. Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. I make videos every Monday and Thursday unless otherwise stated, just so you know, so I don't want you to miss out on another video. So Today, we're going to talk about the game called The Quiet Man. If you don't know what this is, this is a game by Square Enix. Enix? Not sure how to pronounce it, but if you're aware of Life is Strange, which I've done a video on, they're the same company that, for some reason, made this game. Oh, man. So, a lot of dev gamers were actually very excited about this game, myself included, because it's a game that involves a deaf protagonist. How often do you get a game with a deaf protagonist in it? Like, come on. So, it was, it was a very exciting moment. However, when it came out, it was horrible. The reviews were horrible. Now, I hadn't played the game yet, but every review I read said it was terrible. So about last week, I think, my friend messaged me on Facebook and said, my boyfriend will pay you $10 to stream this and he will buy the game for you because this game is so bad and he wants to know what your reaction to it is. And I was like, well, I can't say no to being paid $10 to suffer through a game and be gifted the game. So I said, okay, I'm making you hold on to your words, Alden, because you will pay me for the suffering that you put me through. <laughs> so to backtrack a little bit, the game is about, oh wait, we don't know because there's, there's absolutely no story left. In, there's no story in this game. It makes absolutely no sense. But all right, let's just, all we really got an idea of is that this game is about a deaf guy in New York City, I think Manhattan, and he, he goes around Manhattan fighting people. That's a literally the entire trailer. When you first see it, he goes to these couple gang members and they talk to him and he's like, which to me, I'm like, ear, hearing, where? Which I, I know the universal gesture for hi, I'm deaf is like, you know, you just say, no, I don't got it. But yeah so i played the game i played it for about an hour and all of my viewers were like oh god here we go because they also were aware of all the reviews that the game got and i think this game was equally hated by both hearing and deaf people so hey we're coming together about something right <laughs> i knew that this game was just gonna be something from the very beginning one review i read from odd gamer girl one odd gamer girl is that the captions are offensive or the lack of captions are offensive because when you go through the game when you play the game there's no captions nothing like subtitled except i think for the very beginning and then after that you're on your own there's there's nothing i can see why some people have a problem with this but i feel like for me after my boyfriend my hairy boyfriend mind you was was talking about it and i was like well but this is realistic i'm like okay I can see that. I can see that it's realistic because when I'm going into a situation, I guess if I'm going to fight an entire city of gang members for some reason, I can see where the whole lack of captioning comes in because then you don't understand what's going on. However, I feel like the makers of The Quiet Man could have taken points or some advice from the people who created A Quiet Place because you had, you had a deaf cast member a deaf character and the rest of the family was hearing right but they knew how to do this type of thing and i know these are two different one is a movie and one is a game but holy crap but here's the thing apparently this guy can lip read everything that's being told to him so he knows everything that he's supposed to be doing he knows what's being said every time he co uh, when they go through flashbacks or whatever he knows what the conversation is about apparently so if he knows the information why don't we know the information so i feel like why are there no captions there then i don't know and then there's also the fact that there's no real intro to this game unless i'm completely forgetting i mean i think you have like this movie goes back and forth between movie scenes like real life movie acting scenes which by the way are beautiful they are phenomenal and then it goes into the game and it goes back and forth back and forth 
And so there, there might be some sort of intro there, but you don't really know what the hell it is you're supposed to do. And the second you get thrown into the game, all you do is fight people. You walk into a straight line, sometimes you churn, you fight people, move on to the cutscene, fight people, cutscene, fight people, cutscene, it goes back and forth, and there's no real substance. What am I doing? Where am I going? Why am I fighting? You don't really know because they don't tell you. Like every other game that I played, even without subtitles, seems to tell me what it is that I have to do one way or another. So, like, what is the point of the game? Now, if you look it up on Wikipedia, it says something like, Deaf man in New York City goes to find somebody that's been kidnapped by the bird man. That's it. That's all you- that's all it says. It's- I just- I don't understand. And then again, it's just a movie cutscene. Walking in a straight line and fighting the same exact people every two minutes. You're fighting the exact- People with like random gangs that show up, but then every time they go to the gang that they fought before, it's like you're fighting the same exact people. What is this? And you know what? Let's talk about the graphics and the fighting, the mechanics, the controls, whatever. This game was built horribly. Again, the movie scenes are absolutely beautiful. It's phenomenal. It looks like you went to the movie theater and you were watching an actual movie, so it looks great. And they ruined it all by the sad excuse of game graphics and mechanics and controls. Even my viewers on Twitch were like, what is this? The fighting is terrible. When I'm trying to use like WE and whatnot, like it doesn't move smoothly at all. There's nothing, it, and the fighting is delayed, the punches are delayed, and it's just, there's a kick over there, the the kick over there. And I did better fighting than this when I was nine years old. I fought with the neighborhood kids. We did this as a freaking hobby when we were nine and seven years old. And we did much better than this. You can ask the guy in the world who's walking around with fake teeth because of me. <laughs> I will give the guy in the game credit, though, because he can apparently, um, move away from a machete that's coming after him, except that one time that I died. I probably wouldn't be able to do that. But <laughs> overall, the fighting is just so bad. Overall, this game is just a boring mess. And apparently, if you beat the game, then you get subtitles for a replay. You don't get subtitles from the very beginning. It's just... It, there was some way to know what exactly the point in the game is and what you're supposed to do. I wouldn't care about the subtitles. It, but overall, this game is just so bad that the real big problem with the game is that it's just so bad. There's no real gameplay. There's no real story. Like, why did they make this? How did the people who made the masterpiece that is Life is Strange and... I guess Life is Strange too, but I haven't played it yet because I'm waiting for all the episodes to come out. How did they make something so good, despite me hating Chloe so much, how did they make something so good and then make this type of trash? I... Listen, if you have $10 to spend, I think it's $10 on Steam, don't buy it. Go get something else. Go buy a coffee. Go buy a Fortnite skin. Even that is better than buying whatever the hell this game is. It, don't waste your time. When I finally gave up after an hour, my audience was so happy. They were so grateful that I turned the game off. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the game. You, If you played it, let me know your thoughts. I have nothing else to say on that matter. But now, before you go, if you haven't, consider being a pledge on it. Patreon is a great way to support your favorite creator's content. From me, you get perks like music playlists, written pieces you won't see anywhere else, and pen pal letters if you go up high enough. And I will see you later. Bye!